The other issue that's unresolved here, and that's violence in and around homeless camps. Monday morning's fatal shooting near a new camp on the city's riverfront opens the door to this question. When should these camps be shut? News 4's Alex Gall is live near where that latest incident happened. David, we are just up the street from that homeless encampment here by the river. Now, this is the intersection where that shooting and homicide happened. You can still see the police camera here in the intersection. Now, this is all in the shadow of Laclede's Landing and the Gateway Arch, and it has people asking a question, what to do with homeless encampments? Now, the local alderwoman here says clearing them out entirely is a temporary fix, one that has not and will not fix the root causes. Ginger Maxi and her family visit downtown often. Maybe to see a ball game or to go to the opera. But she's aware of the crime and mental health issues plaguing the city. You have to really keep your wits about you when you're in St. Louis. Uh, you have to be aware of what's going on. And a family member experienced homelessness. She tells us it's a personal issue and would love to see more resources be put into helping. My hearts go out to those people. Recent violence has sprung up here near Laclede's Landing. The city cleared out a homeless encampment months ago, but another one is forming, bringing with it public safety concerns about mental health, drugs, and violence. Early in the morning on Memorial Day, a man died nearby. Better make sure we don't criminalize homelessness. St. Louis police say the case is still under investigation, but a long-term strategy for these encampments is not yet clear. I've done this in other cities where we can be compassionate. We can move them to get them, in, get the unhoused housed, get them the help that they need, mental health, addiction issues. We asked Chief Tracy today, given that the city removed a similar encampment this year, why not this one too that is close to the arch and the city's central business district? He says it's not that simple. It's something that's been there for a while and some of the things that I continue to look at, how can we how can we make sure that we can serve those people in a better way and maybe move it out from that location? The local alderwoman Kara Spencer says the city needs to find a better strategy and coordinate homeless outreach. We have businesses downtown that are that are really negatively impacted by by failing to address homelessness comprehensively. Um, you know, you walk down to the landing and unfortunately, you know, I mean, there's a lot of issues going on here. Now, a city spokesperson does say that they send people and resources to provide social services and encampments like this. And there's also been a renewed push at City Hall to strengthen rights for homeless people. We're live in Laclede's Landing, Alex Gall, News 4.